All right, let's talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and from and what I want to talk about specifically about Bitcoin and Ethereum, Zach, is investment strategy and kind of talking about a good diversification scenario there. So um, I'm going to let you take that and I'll throw up the Bitcoin and the kind of the uh, and the Ethereum, you know, right here, there's these do. So what's your two cents as far as kind of like investment strategy, Bitcoin, Ethereum, large caps, small caps, all that kind of stuff. So I'll preface this by saying this is my strategy, but I think every strategy is different depending on how much money you have to start with, how much money you make, how much money you plan to make, how old you are, right? There's a lot of things that go into this okay. and we're not financial advisors. So just, you know, that's all set out front, but <laughs> I like to say having 60 to 70% in Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, as a backbone in your portfolio as a long-term investment is a good idea. That's, that's kind of my philosophy because then you always have, I mean, think about it. Bitcoin and Ethereum make up what 60 some odd percent of the overall market. Mm -hmm. So why not make your overall crypto portfolio 60 some odd percent, right? So that's the way I look at it, like logistically. Then it's what else in the top 100 do you like? And try to get a mix, right? I like to try to get gaming in there, AI in there, some layer twos, Polygon. You're right? talking about now go to go down category level? Yeah, XRP, global payments, right? They're number one there. That might not be a terrible idea. L2s, Polygon, they're number one there. Cardano, one of the top altcoins doing something completely different than Ethereum is. Nice little alternative investment, right? Um, I don't want to give away the whole portfolio. SHIB, um, you know, it's something completely different. Still a top 15, totally different sector. Gala Games, pretty big, something totally different, right? So that's where I like to kind of get a nice piece of some big things in different sectors. Then whatever's left over, go have fun with in the, you know, Pepe space, the meme coin, Bob space. And so if you had it, okay, so. Yeah. So are you still there? Yeah, I was just going to say, what I'm trying to do there is those are normally not long-term plays. Not as long-term as Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? You might you might keep a moon bag, as Crypto Wendy says, which I like that, right? But get your money. Make your money while you can, because a lot of those cryptos, they will not be here. Right. Point, period. They won't be. They're, they're, here for, they're here for a good time, not a long time. So... Bring it back to percentages. So let's say, you know, out of 100%, and, and I'll even give you a number. Let's say I have $5,000. And so take that $5,000 and give me kind of percentage breakdown. You said 60, 70% would be, let's just say 60% is divvied up between Bitcoin and Ethereum. And would you do an even split there or would you lean towards one more side? Honestly, if I'm starting with five grand, that's not a huge number. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this straight up. I started with seven grand. Now, back in the day, back in the day in 2021, I went right into Dogecoin with all of it. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> with all of it. And I bought it at one cent and it went to seven cents and I sold. And I thought it was a genius. Of course, it went to 70 cents. I have seven. never known that story. You've never yeah. told me that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Seven next. And now I had, then I had turned seven into 49. Right. Okay. For those right. of you watching, don't do what he just said. Don't do that. Right. Don't do that. Right. right. Okay. Because I could have very easily lost all seven. And yeah. but that was before you really were in crypto. You just went, I'm just going to do this. Right. And I got lucky that we were in a bull run. Okay. So there I you go. I got lucky that we were in a bull run and I did it at the right time and, and all those sort of things. But basically, what I'm trying to say is starting with five grand, you don't have a ton to really play with. I, I, I'd be looking to maybe allocate like two grand of that into some new tokens, new launches. I would, if, okay. if you're looking at, if you're looking at that five grand and saying, okay, I'm willing to take some risk here. If you're looking okay. to set it and well, forget it. Say that. Yeah. If you're looking to set it and forget it. I mean, hell I, I would buy two ETH. Wait, I'm a, what's ETH right now? Yeah. You can get two ETH right now and just set it and forget it. Okay. Your five grand. I mean, and, and then take the extra thousand and play with it. I wouldn't even invest in Bitcoin because you can get two full ETH sit on it for 10 years and you, that's going to be a great return. We think, right. Then, then opposed to putting that in the stock market. You're talking about percentage move up, but also yeah. what you're talking about is also risk. And I think age, right. I mean, right. you know, you want to set and forget it and not deal with it at all. Yeah. So I think you have to, you have to look at how old are you, how much risk are you willing to accommodate? 
Like if, like you may you may look at that and go, all right, I got five thousand dollars. Okay, I'm willing to take on more risk, and I'm willing to take two thousand dollars of this, and I may and I'm going to go put it on some new emerging meme tokens. Yeah. Going into it eyes wide open, but I'm you know I think it's I think it's risk. I think it's risk assessment. How risk averse you are, you know, being north of fifty, I would probably I would probably not be as risk to that. I'd probably do more like, okay, I, instead of 2000, I might take a thousand and go, okay, I'm going to go take 250, you know, t and put it on five meme tokens or whatever. If, if, if it, again, risk, right. I think that's really what it, what it comes down to. And I think the biggest thing, biggest mistake people make is they, they have five grand to play with and they put it all into, you know, in Dogecoin like you did back in the day. <laughs> but I mean, at least Dogecoin was like somewhat big, been around. I mean, I'm not I'm slamming it, Dogecoin, not slamming Dogecoin, you know. But, but, but here's the point. Here's the point. You don't need to put that much in. If, if you're going to hit big, I mean, what did you put in, Bob? 500 bucks. What did it turn into? Uh, 40,000. 40,000. Right yeah. now, that's not going to happen all the time, but but you could but, do five or six of those. Well, and I've sold the story. To yeah. take profit out. Yeah, yeah. As soon as it two axes, you know, because a win's a win. You People are always trying to get the 100 X. Yeah. If you get a hundred two X's, but but you know what but, I mean? But here, but again, go back to what we were saying. So I, I know you're transitioning into that, right? But but what we both did is we looked at that and went, we're gonna take a couple thousand dollars or whatever it was, and we're gonna go buy eight or nine brand new tokens that just came out. Yep. We bought, we were late a little bit late into Pepe. We were right there when Bob launched, and we threw money at Bob before there was a website, before there was anything. And so we we did eight or nine of tokens like that, you know, Baby Pepe, Sneed, all those. Um, yeah. Out of those eight or nine, two of them were straight rugs, straight up rugs. And I always tell that story. And we both looked at that and went, we could lose every single dollar. So we had two rugs. We had three or four that were like, and eh, they went backwards for a while. And they they a couple of them have gone backwards forever. And a couple of them now were back to even. And then we had two winners, which was Sneed and Bob. And then outside of that, we both put money into Pepe as well. And that's turned out to be okay. Yeah. But I think that's the key narrative of what I really want people to understand is that, is that we could have lost every dollar of that in meme, in those meme tokens. And we were willing to do that. Correct. So and we, by the way, it was, we, we have our base portfolios over here where we own Bitcoin, Ethereum, and we're diversified and all that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I've been sitting on my Cardano, Algorand, you name it, right? Uh, you know, SHIB. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum. I mean, that stuff we don't we don't mess with. We just those are yeah. long term. And here's the thing with those, I've got my certain price points where I like to add to them. Like when Cardano last year dipped down below thirty cents, I was loving it. Polygon yeah. right now down below a dollar, love it. Shib when it gets back to that zero goes to five zeros. Yep, give me all that. Right, you could do that too. But um, yeah, I mean, you know what's happening right now is the market got super boring. How long will all this volume last in Pepe? and Bo There's no telling, right? right? That's why take profits along the way. Take profits along the way. Right, right. Yeah. All right, so let's end on that note. Thanks for your time. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, definitely hit that subscribe button, drop a like. And uh, Zach, thanks for uh, a few minutes of your time, man. We'll see you guys later. Go make some money. Take care. See you guys.